Hello everybody and welcome, or welcome back to some Peglin. This game has officially just launched into its 1.0 update, it's out of early access, um, and in a state the developers think is their completed version of Peglin. If you guys haven't seen this game before, it's a really, really interesting roguelike based on a Peggle. It's really, really good, it's like a Plinko machine type thing. Uh, I'll just jump into the game and you guys can kind of see what we got going on here. So we're going to start as the regular old character, Jack of all trades, additional battle rewards, but we do have this character as well we can check out later on. We'll jump in as this guy. And yeah, as I said, I have played this uh, on my channel before, um, but it's been a long time. There's been like four or five updates since. Uh, so we've got this here. We can. This is our starting item. Uh, plus one to our crit, which is kind of nice. Um, flying enemies attack horizontally and take damage from projectile attacks. That's pretty good. And you have plus one discard. I'm going to go with a plus one discard, I think. Discarding allows us basically to just rotate through our... Um, our orbs quicker, so I'll kind of show you that when we get in here. So these are our orbs here. We have the dag orb, which is going to do weak regular damage, or if we hit one of these, that's a crit, it'll do high crit damage. And then we have these um, pegs as well. But we can use this to skip to the next one, and now we have two of those, which is pretty nice. So if we can manage to hit a crit here, which we'll see if we can. Yes, there you go. As you can see, now we do a ton more damage. So we're doing 60 damage there, which is really good. And we can do that again here. Obviously, this orb doesn't do as much crit damage as the uh, the dagger one did. But still, good damage. And we're trying to get these little ones that have all the gold in them. Because that's adding to our gold count that you can see at the top right there. I mean, you can use that in shops and a few other various ways. And this here, the R, is what we're looking for. You'll see what that does in a second. Oh, or not, because I completely missed it. My bad. We've actually blocked it off from being able to be hit right now, which is really frustrating. There you go. I'm just having the hardest time hitting this. Right, there you go. And it refreshes the whole board. And they will move each time. So the crits move every turn, but the refreshes only move once hit. Good. good. Not quite doing 80 here. So we have lost a bit of HP. You can see the enemies managed to hit me. They come along. We've got to hit them by doing damage by hitting orbs. Uh, by hitting uh, pegs with our orbs. And now we get our first shop. So we can go and take a look at buying more orbs. Um, let's have a little look-see. Duplicator orb is kind of interesting. Hmm. It's kind of an interesting one. Maybe I'll go with this. And then I can upgrade it as well for a cost. Which is pretty decent. And doesn't really matter which way we go here, but we can navigate whichever way we want using the map that you just saw there. We can kind of make our way towards certain things. Oh, we get a free item here. Um, honestly, I'd be okay with pretty much any of these. So I'm just going to fight here in the middle and see what happens. Middle one's definitely the best, but that's pretty good too. Uh, and I'd very much like to um, get the, the one to the left here, which you may be wondering why did I fire all the way to the right then, but... There's a tactic with that. Unfortunately, it didn't pan out. But there's a tactic with that where you can get it to bounce over to the other side if you hit it at the right spot. Clearly, I didn't. It's been a while since I played this game, as I mentioned, so I'm not going to be able to be the best every time. But we'll tr we'll try and have a good first run here. Try and make something happen and not not die too early. Oh, that was a really really bad hit there. But trying to bounce it off of the bomb. You can see there that bomb just detonated and took out a bunch of pegs around it, which is the item that we just picked up, which is rather nice. So how exactly does this work then? Duplicates hit um, crits. Okay, so it just creates another crit. I see, that's pretty interesting. That could be really, really good for certain, uh, certain builds. See if we can play into that. Um... Regular attacks pierce one enemy on crit, pierce all enemies. Orbs pierce first peg, applies two blind on hit. Yes, we'll grab that, I think. And then we want to be going left, I think, here. Left is the ideal. But yeah, that icicle one is really, really good for piercing. Um, ooh, this is kind of crazy. This is kind of a crazy stage. So there's some new stages, like new, new layouts and stuff that I'm seeing here. I, I, I don't recognize this one. Oh, dude, both the crits are right down there. That's annoying. Ooh, that was beautiful. I forgot about the uh, pegs detonating other pegs. Yep, easy. What was that? 15 research points. That's definitely something new. I've not seen that before. 
I do not recognize research points as something that I should be looking out for. So that's, yeah, that's definitely new. I'll have to see in the main menu what you do with research points, because I'm not entirely sure. Um, when a slime is applied, it gets upgraded plus five. That's pretty good. We don't have any slime applying anything at the minute. Heal one every time the board is refreshed. I'm going to go with that one for now, because healing is useful, but also I think we have the potential to refresh the board a lot with our duplicating uh, thingy that we've got going on. You find another Peglin intensely um, surveying the area. Hey, uh, hello, I'm Haglin. Have we met before? I'm afraid I uh, haven't quite set up shop here yet, but in the meantime, I can offer you a free sample. Ooh. We can upgrade an orb or we can remove. Re remove is definitely ideal. We'll remove that one. Um, I like to go for the question marks more often because you can still get fights, but you can also get stuff like that where you get freebies, which is really, really nice. As you can see, we still got a fight here. Right, I want to try and get up to 30 coins if I can. Yeah, there you go. I've got there already. Boom. Yep. All done. <laughs> That's, that bomb thing is amazing. Bulldog only hits enemies in the ground, attacks pierce all. I like the idea of that as well. Should have saved for the shop, really, but I, I suppose I could try and farm a little bit here with money. No, I tried. <laughs> um, Nah, we'll go for the plus three bombs on each stage. That's really, really nice for us. And then, I don't really care which one I go for here, so I'm going to try and detonate these bombs here. Damn it. If you detonate those bombs, you get an extra treasure. It's a little hard to do, but it can be done. Bald orb here is going to be pretty amazing. It's very heavy, as you can see, but it's going to pass through every enemy on the ground floor and kill them all. Piercing is just super, super valuable in this game. Oh, that was not good at all. Dude, why am I refreshing in such bad spots? Yeah, we're going to lose a lot of HP here because our refreshes are just in awful spots. There you go, we got one of them. Aha, okay, we got some bombs now. We're good, we're good. Thought we we're going to have some trouble there. Yep, yet another bit of research. I like it. Ooh, Doc's Orb. Deals no damage, heals you for each peg hit, permanently removed from your deck. Um, from your deck after it's used. I reckon we can make that work. I think if you upgrade it, you can use it multiple times as well, if I remember correctly. Doctorb for a bit of healing seems good to me. Oh, straight in the fire, goddammit. It's okay. We've not lost too much health yet. The first area is not too bad. You also do heal after killing the boss too, which is nice. I can get rid of both of those to do some piercing here. Unfortunately, the, the bald orb we have not leveled up yet, so it's still pretty weak damage-wise. Yes, if we get the crit appears as all the enemies, so uh, this should be good. There you go, baby. And then we're on to this guy. I'll just try and use the bomb for now if I can. Because all of my refreshes and stuff are in a bad spot. This orb's really bad if I don't get my refreshes, to be honest. It's actually terrible. Great to keep your health, but it's only used once unless upgraded. Yes, I was right about that. So let's let's not use that for now. Again, just try and hit the bombs here. Having a really hard time with these refreshes. Hoping we can get over there and get one. Nope. There we go, beautiful. And that duplicates them as well. Okay, get a crit there, just do some bit extra damage. And we've done nearly enough to kill this guy, not quite enough. There you go, beautiful. That should be more than enough to get him done. And there's an elite deaded, so at least we're going to get an item for killing that guy. Increase hits enemies debuffs by one. Ooh, that's pretty cool. But I think we're going to go for an upgrade on that. And I'm going to leave it there so that I can spend at the shop. Every 17 hit has a random positive slime applied. Ooh. Attacks gain plus two for each crit on the board. That's kind of interesting. Basically, if we hit a crit, we end up doing less damage, essentially. That, that, that could be pretty good. 
I'm, I'm still gonna take this though. The slime one sounds interesting. Right, let's go for the shop. We got another elite for the boss. So the shop here, we can remove an orb, obviously, or we can go in one of these. Um, maybe four times the board's refreshed. Eh, I think I'm just gonna go for the removal of orbs. Thank you. And we're definitely gonna go for the elite here. We've got the health to manage it. And we've got the docked orb now, which is upgraded plus one. I can't remember what the plus two upgrade does. We'll have to have a look. Let's just take a little look, see here. So, deals no damage, heals you for each peg hit, can only be used once per battle. Okay, so it can be used multiple times, uh, but it's only once per battle. Very much like to get crit here, if we can. So I'm going to try and go for crit. No, don't fall that way, you idiot. Oh, man, that was devastating. Oh, dude, th these balls are just not falling where I want them to at all. Okay, we're not actually doing too bad here. And we can go in here and... Can this crit? Still, though, that's a bloody lot of healing. That's really, really good. Okay. You are almost dead. This orb's really, really good if you can actually make it work. What we got here? Um, upgrades each peg three times, uh, plus three damage, deals no damage. Refresh the board when fired. Convert every eight peg into a refresh. Interesting. Interesting. What's our map looking like? Yeah, we can spend here. Okay, let's set. Uh, let's first of all let's upgrade this. What's our next upgrade here? Persist two. Persist two means we can use it twice. Which is pretty good. But I think I'm more in need of like this first. Every three times a crit is triggered, gain one spinnies. That's kind of nice. That's increased crit damage. Um, activating multiple crits increases damage. Oh, yes, we'll take that because that could be really, really, really good um, with this really straight in the fire. Really good with the one where we can duplicate our crits. Could be very, very nice. No easy crit there, unfortunately. This is a, a different boss here. We've got um, the Slime King. So there's like three different bosses per stage. Uh, this is probably the easiest one, although I'm not going to commit to saying it's easy because um, I have failed it before. He's also different as well. He just like looks very different from what he normally does. Oh, I was really hoping I'd hit that refresh there. We don't want to use the Doctorb yet. Because uh, we want to take more damage before we end up using the Doctorb, really. <sighs> Damn, I'm trying to bounce things right, and it's just not going my way. What on earth was that game? Okay, so we are having a really hard time here right now because of the way that things are panning out. Oh man, we need a refresh so bad. Okay, so we're now inside him, which isn't ideal. I'm still going to discard that for now. This is a really, really hard stage now. Okay, so they, they, they definitely changed it. I swear it didn't used to be like this. Okay, we can go for this now. Yeah, there you go. Back up to full health. That probably has saved us that. Oh, hit the bombs, please. I've got so many bombs primed and none of them hit. There you go. Lovely stuff. That should be enough to kill him. That was tricky. That was tricky. Okay, we're going to go upgrade on you. And we'll do also upgrade on you as well. Why not? And then we've got our boss relics. The boss relics are uh, definitely stronger. Uh, we've got some interesting ones here. So we've got magnets. So they'll get magnet magnetized towards bombs and... Also towards refresh and crit, which is pretty interesting. Kinetic meteorite is going to give us explosive force until the board's refreshed. This is all pegs have durables. So they take more hits to destroy. 
And mm, all orbs get morbid. Morbid allows orbs to activate on when when they're depleted. I think I'm gonna go for the uh, for the magnet to be honest. Be able to hit more crits and stuff seems really useful. We're into the next stage now. So these guys have shields. Basically, it, it, it essentially means that piercing is like a hard requirement in these areas, which is really annoying. Ooh, I like that magnetizing. That's pretty cool. So if I do that, yeah, it magnetizes towards the crit. And it starts magnetizing towards the bombs. It does fall off pretty quick, though. Why did this one duplicate? Oh, it just gains multi-ball at level 3. That's really nice. Okay, see, this is, this is where this is working out really well for us. Because now we've got, like, crits and refreshes literally everywhere. Yeah, this has worked out really nicely for us. Um, yeah, I guess I'll upgrade that. The healing's gonna be really, really nice. And then which way do we want to go here? We got a shop. I think I'm gonna go this way. We got a shop and an elite over this way. We'll try and save money for another orb removal. Get rid of one of our uh, little peg orbs. Oh, what is going on here? But that's a... A shame we're not getting more when we refresh. I mean, we are healing when we refresh, which is nice, but we don't exactly need that now we've got the Doctor. Orb. We've got some really, really good healing for us. Ah, oh, damn, I really want a crit here. Oh, really? <laughs> okay. I mean, I got the crit, but it has piercing on the first orb, so that didn't really help all that much, did it? Really, you went out the outside. Still, we got some extra refreshes on the board through that. It's not bad. Okay, hold up, hold up, hold up. There you go. Oh, really? I got a really good crit there in five damage because of the shield. The shields are the worst. Oh my god, it's bouncing around like crazy. Just get some of these bombs, please. There's so many bombs there that we could utilize. We're just not getting any of them right now. There you go. A little bit late, but <laughs> thank you nonetheless. Okay, do we want to grab anything there? Kind of, yeah. Ah, I'm going to save my money for now. Might be able to buy something nicer from the shop. Straight in there, lovely. Remove an orb. Lovely stuff. Cost us a bit of HP, but really not a problem for us. Please don't go all the way to the left. You... I'm going to miss out on the shop now. Oh, that's so frustrating. The randomness did me in. That was rather nice. Got a good amount of damage there. Can we hit a crit here? I'm just gonna go for the bomb to start with and then hope I get a crit. Yeah, there you go. Beautiful stuff. All of you get blind, which means they have a chance to miss. Really nice. And you're all dead. What, what? That enemy didn't die. <laughs> but it's dead. I will go for that, thank you. And I'll even upgrade it to max, and that's a good orb. Damn it, because if I missed out on that shop. We got an elite here, though, that's good. Enter the passageway. A random navigation. Nah, I'd rather go for the elite, thank you. I think that'd just move us over to the other side instead, which is interesting, but not super useful. Is this an elite? This is an elite, isn't it? Yeah. Big orb on this area is really nice because it has a harder time falling. Good damage. Fired that at the wrong place, but it actually ended up working out. Please get one of those refreshes. Yes, okay. Do 
we are. Yeah, I guess it, we are demolishing him. Chopping bo bollock. Bollock? Uh, uh, indeed. Okay. Apply um, to every five pegs hit. Armor to every five pegs hit. Deals plus seven damage for each armor on the board. Ooh. That's kind of interesting. How are we looking orbs-wise? How many do we have? We'll probably go for another. Let's, let's go for the Spinfection one. I like it. Get it all the way to max as well. When your deck is shuffled, um, each orb's damage and crit are randomly rolled between minus three and plus three. That's kind of scary. Every 30 hits is converted to a bomb. Yes, please. That seems amazing. Go random first, because random is free, essentially, here. We've got another elite to the left here. Upgrade an orb. Unfortunately, not the best, considering we don't have many orbs we want to upgrade, but thank you. We'll go for this elite and then the chest as well. An additional refresh is really, really nice. Oh, we got two chests. Dude, this is this is a great area. Uh, do I recognize this boss? This, uh, this mini boss? I think I do, yeah. So what's this going to do? Apply Spinfection 5 on a crit, apply additional 2 can target any enemy. Each turn, enemies with Spinfection lose 10 times X HP. Seems pretty good. So in theory, it doesn't actually matter what damage we deal with the orb. It's still gonna deal the spin it's still gonna apply the spinfection. The plus five. Oh, so he took fifty damage there and each turn it decays a little bit, I see. <clears throat> That's pretty good. Yes, there you go. Managed to duplicate a few crits and stuff. Do some decent damage. Oh, we primed a bomb there. I love the stacking crits. Look how much damage we've done to him already. Beautiful stuff. He is very dead. This is, I think we've got a good combo here. The stuff we've got is working out really nicely. Um, Refresh the board. When drawn, convert two pegs to refreshes. Fires with huge force, only hits, refreshes, crits, and bombs, pierce through all of those extra bouncy and low gravity. That seems interesting. Massive damage on crit. Ooh. I'm gonna go for that. Bald will have an additional two crits. I don't even need to look at the other two. That's, that's what I want. <laughs> and we've got two treasures in a row here. Yeah, two treasures in a row is amazing. When gaining max health, increase amount gained by one. Every three times boys refreshed, gain one mus mus musicle. Yeah, I'll take it. Hey, we got the extra treasure. Um, when a peg is hit, convert two pegs into a crit. Oh, dude, that's amazing for us right now. Also, that looks like Cricket Penny from Isaac. This is this is good stuff. We have a very good build going right now. Um. Previously thrown bombs can now be refreshed. That's really good too. And now we've got the boss. This boss is interesting. I've fought this guy before. Basically just ed edges closer and closer to you until eventually he insta-kills you. So you've got to be kind of careful. But having bombs be able to refresh here is super, super important for us. You can see we've done a thousand damage already here. Plus all the damage from the bombs. Oh my god. Yeah, this is uh, pretty wild. Oh man. This is awesome. We've got such a good build going right now. Yep, he is well and truly dead. That's a very, very speedy kill on him. Very speedy kill indeed. I think I'm pretty happy with what I've got going on right now, to be honest. Every shot has plus one multi-ball, but get minus two, minus two. Ooh. All orbs get um, zero plus four. That's pretty good. 
You can no longer obtain gold, but your current shot's total damage is dealt to the target every three you collect. Ooh, I've got good money right now. I'm happy to go for that. That's pretty good. We're on to the last area now. We did get the dragon boss, which is actually insanely, insanely good for what we just took. So just, just to let you understand how this is going to work, the item that we just received, which was this one, Every three gold we collect, our current orb's damage will be applied. So you'll see you'll see how this works here. So one, two, three, and then it did 30 damage. Now it's doing 170, now 246, and you can see it just does in insane damage. The interesting thing here is that the boss is basically just a massive gold hoarder, because dragons hoard gold, and it means that that is a really overpowered relic to have specifically for this boss, so we're probably going to absolutely demolish the boss <laughs> if we make it that far, which I'm hoping we will, considering our setup. It should be pretty good. Okay. I'm liking the applying random slime as well, it's good. Dead, beautiful. Hmm. Don't really know which way I'm going here. Just kind of went random. Okay, this is an interesting fight here. This guy actually dies by how many pegs you hit, not how much damage you deal. So you'll see there, I did barely any damage to him, but... But he does do a lot of damage to us, so... I think it's 25 he does. Oh no, he doesn't do anywhere near as much as I thought. There you go, he's dead. Ooh, card unlocked for the enemy, that's pretty interesting, that's kind of new I think. Just carry on going down this way, it's easier. I've got no real way I want to go here. As you can see, the board is very mismatched. Just, just, just hit the bombs, please. Bombs make everything easier. Oh, the piercing there didn't really work out for us. Just hit the bombs, please. There you go. Stage over. Continue on. I'm really happy with what we've got going on right now, so I'm not that worried about grabbing other stuff. Question mark mystery. See what we got going on. The worm fellas. Okay, these. This is a lot of bombs. These red bombs do more damage, but they damage us too. So when we detonate those, we are going to take some damage. Oh man, it's, it's going to be insane how quick we kill this boss. Look at this. <laughs> Look at this. Do we only have one of those? We do. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to grab another one and upgrade it. Got a question mark again here. I think I'm just going to go all question marks on the side, to be honest. Break yourself for impact, attempt to dodge. I'm just going to attempt to dodge. Minus six maximum HP isn't that bad. Duplicate a random orb. We duplicated... I don't see which one we duplicated, to be honest. We already had two of those. We already had two of those. Oh, it's this one here. Okay, that's, that's, that's fine by me. It's fine by me. I don't mind that duplication. I would have preferred it to be my doctor, but oh well. I mean, that would be good if it wasn't useless. <laughs> right now, it's a bit useless for us. Right, on our, way, on our last stretch to the boss here. Immune to damage while reloading is really good. Damn it. Couldn't just hit that bomb, could I? Oh, we got an elite here. I didn't really know about that. Beautiful. 
beautiful stuff. You can see the money just doing crazy damage. I can't, I can't believe it's not being nerfed every three. I mean, obviously, you, it means you can't use money, which is not great. I'm going to use this to heal myself up to full. I was kind of hoping that would kill him, but oh well. Don't fire any more red bombs. No more red bombs. No more red bombs. Damn it! I said no more red bombs. Damn it! We're gonna take loads of damage here. Okay, no, I didn't because he did. He died before. Thank God. That was way better. <laughs> Duplicate an orb. I guess I should duplicate this. I've got two discards, so having more orbs than we need is not a bad thing. Good hit. He is dead? No, not quite, not quite. But he will be very shortly. There you go. <laughs> he is dead. Attacks of Echo 10 is really, really good. We'll take that. Basically, that means that 10% a, a of our damage from our last orb will be dealt with our next one. And we get a shop and then the boss. As I said, the boss should be absolutely just destroyed here. To an insane degree. Like, look, all of this is gold. So... Yeah, we've already done half of his HP. Where's our refreshes? Our refreshes are pretty deep, aren't they? Yep, there you go. Dead. <laughs> Absolutely destroyed. I said it'd be crazy. But there you go. And we've got this, this whole new board here at the end. I really like this. So this tells us what we did, I think. What bosses we fought and stuff. Tells us where we went. I like that. It gives us our runtime. Gold obtained. I really like this. This is definitely new, and then it gives us a full roundup of everything. I like it. Right, let's see if we can figure out what the hell the research points were. Would that be in here, maybe? Ooh, we got all our achievements in here. That's pretty cool. I like it. I like it. A beastie area as well, which is pretty nice to see. Oh, damn. Okay. So we can see what loot we get from them. We get two points research. Okay, so research to do with specific enemies. I wonder what I get for this. Hmm. I like that, that's cool. But either way, I hope you guys did enjoy this look back into Peglin. And if you want to see more of it, please let me know, and I'll see you guys in the next one.